I mean, we since the last time you and I did something, though, I mean, there's been a speculation map that's come out. Yeah, I, I can't tell you what's on that map. You'd have to tell me. I, I, I'd have to tell me, too. Uh, I, know there's one, I know one thing on there. And while you're pulling it up, uh, I'll say it. The maze that made Tony cry and decide, even though gas prices are high, if this is a legitimate... If this Amazing. is a legitimate thing, I'll buy Frequent Fear Pass for the yes. event and, and go every weekend, at least once a weekend. Yes, and that is uh, Killer Clowns from Inner Space. Don't I'm just think kidding. Outer Space. Called? Outer Space, I'm sorry. I don't think I have the... Do I have the maps? I don't know if I do. Oh, it's probably on the Twitter. Twitter, bro. Twitter. Or Instagram. Yeah, it's not on Instagram? No, it's Twitter. So, uh, do you want to talk about Orlando's event first or Hollywood's event? How about we just mix it up, bro? Because it's just confusing <laughs> at that point. All right, let's talk about Hollywoods. Uh, first up on the list, uh, speculated map by HN Nightmares, who for some reason happens to get a lot of these right every year. It's that source. Science. Science. <laughs> Rules. Hunter's, like, rethinking her whole life right now. She's like, I don't think this was a good idea. <laughs> she said, why did um, I agree to be with these two hooligans? Universal Monsters <laughs> the Mummy. Oh, bro. How do we feel about that? Hunter, tell us how you feel, because I feel like I've been commanding talking here. Please tell us. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to pull it off. I, I, I think it will I think it can be really good, depending on what they do to it. It, it, it kind of has me thinking, like, well, ironically, this is being placed behind the mummy. <laughs> yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> and so... What makes what, what what starts the questions that come to my head are: Are we getting the remake mummy? Are we sticking with the classic monsters? Is it a reimagining? Reimagining? Are they bring, gonna bring that sliding mummy, like how it was in the ride? Oh, yeah. There was a sliding mummy in the ride. Yeah. At the exit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't know to, that. Scare the shit out of people. He told me. It used to be like a person dressed up. They had statues at the end of the, of the ride, and he yeah. used to actually like stand on one of the. There was like an empty one, and he'd come in and scare people. I know there was like still walkers too that used to be around there. I don't know if they're still there. Yeah, I don't know. I I because I had talked to some friends about that, and I, I think they're on hiatus right now. Probably. So if they bring them inside of the maze, or in the facade. Now that's the quite. Now that's the next question. Like, if you were to do a mummy maze, what would be your ideal facade for that? A, a sphinx, like the, like the ones that exist. Oh, you have a sphinx on there. There it is, right there. Um, would be pretty sick. What about you? What, what like a statue? I don't know. I think the still walkers would, would definitely like make it, like make it because you wouldn't expect it because they would probably look like statues. Yeah. So it would be one of those ones is like the last thing is like a jump scare that people can get. It'd be a lot of fun. I mean, I'm you know when I think the mummy, obviously the first thing you think about is a pyramid. Yeah. You know what I mean the, the yeah. pyramids of Egypt and whatnot. Um, Universal probably has a lot of old school. 1930s preserve things that they can look at and replicate. You know what I mean? Not to so they don't destroy the originals or anything. It's something to make the maze more feel alive and stuff. Um, what it's I'm, alive. It's alive. Uh, what I'm curious about is uh, how they're going to make the mummy look. Now, in the past, we've seen you know a, a bitchin' look for Frankenstein. Dracula looked dope. Wolfman looked dope. Um, the Bride last year. Phenomenal maze. Yeah, that great. looked dope. Great maze. Favorite yeah. maze. It was they, did a, they did a good job with uh, the Invisible Man, too. Invisible Man, when he had his little cameo. That yeah, I wish dope. I would have seen that in person, but yeah. I was a scaredy cat. Did you not go in 2018? No. You no. You went in 2019. Yeah, I went to 2019. I can share great stories about that, but that's not neither here nor there. Yeah. Us, White Walls. Dun-dun-dun. Yeah. Dun. That's good. So, I mean, Mummy, it could be cool. I just I want to know if Murdy's going to plan out a story as far as... You know, this is this is what's happening with the mummy. This is like a spiritual sequel to the mummy. You know what I mean? Like how he did with the bride. Yeah, I'm I'm not staying on topic, but slightly changing topic here is I think like at midsummer, I'm hoping we'll get like a nice little like how we did for awaken. Yeah, for awaken. I'm really hoping we'll get the same thing for this maze because I think it's super interesting to hear what the story is going to be, what these uh, like these drawings look like, and then really getting to see it come to life, uh, you know, Hopefully, a few months uh, later. It's Slash super comes epic. back. <sighs> Slash is always killing those scores. Yeah, for sure. I think everyone sure. in this room can agree with that. Slash has great scores with these things, and you can tell he makes them with love just for him being a Universal Monsters fan. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
Uh, moving on, Waterworld Q is rumored to be the Evil Dead. Um, now this is this is gonna be cool for me because every year that I've gone, I think they've done Evil Dead once when the reimagining came out, and I never got to go through it. That was the one maze I didn't get to go through. So to see them, I know why she's laughing. And just Guest appearance of uh, Matt's hand. Of a ch- cherry Dr Pepper, not sponsored. <laughs> Um, I wish we were though. I Dr. Pepper, if you're listening, you, we can take your sponsorship and we will eat, drink a Jerry Dr. Pepper, and then get him some Cherry Dr. Pepper Zero, please. So yes, please. What kind of Dr. Pepper you want? Any of them? Terry, regular. <laughs> we all like Dr. Pepper. Doc. Said, all 23 flavors, please. <laughs> um, but Evil Dead. Uh, so my, my my first question is, would you rather see the original or the remake? I've never seen any of the Evil Dead, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, next question. <laughs> next, you've never seen Evil Dead either, huh? That is correct. I guess I'm one of the only people. Now, you don't have to answer this. You can just nod yes or no. Have you seen Evil Dead? Okay. You seen Evil Dead too? Any of them? Nope. No? <laughs> he said, no. is it on Voodoo? Um, it is, actually. All of them are. So, go check it out. I actually have some, I think the first one. The first one? Yeah. Okay. Just because if I'm talking about this, I know they're listening, but they're not paying, you know. But anyway, um, I think if if I were to choose, because they've already done the reimagining in 2013, so I would probably more than likely want to see the original. The only problem is it's, I mean, it's supposed to be scary, but it's not scary in my opinion. How would you feel since I, I you know, since you're the one that can answer this question, if you went on a night? And Bruce Campbell was actually in the maze. Why well, you gotta go there, bro? Bro, because I wanted to see you fanboy. That's freaking Sonic Boom, bro. <laughs> For those who know, no, Sky High, bro. Sonic Boom himself. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Ash Williams, bro. I was like, I, I, I'd probably lose my shit. I was like, I don't think that's his name in Evil Dad. <laughs> Out of all the people in this room, I think two people have seen me fanboy over people. That guy sitting in that chair is one of them. He actually just saw me fanboy like two weeks ago. You have seen me fanboy in front of people. Yeah. Have you seen me fanboy in front of people? Anyone famous or anything that we've met? No. no? Well, I'm talking about like conventions. Know. Wait, were you yes. there? Were you there when I met all the Resident Evil people? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. She's she was she. Because you you went and then you were like I gotta go get signatures of everyone. Yeah, it was because we got there. Yeah. Like, like, I would have spent three hundred dollars for too, three right? pieces of paper. No, you didn't see it. Um, he saw it. It's, he don't uh, remember. <laughs> yeah, I, I if I saw Bruce Cameron there, I'd probably. Hey, you want to be on my podcast? Hey, hey, hey! hey really Forty six is really, really found his voice right there, you know. So, uh, okay, so Evil Dead, I'm I'm for if it's the original. Uh, even if they do the remake, I guess I'll enjoy it. Uh, Scarecrow, this is an original that's going to be at the Curious George tent, which is actually under construction right now. Facade is almost up. Um. I had talked to someone about this. The facade door kind of looked like Nightmare on Elm Street. And then I got in an argument with the same guy because he said it wasn't. I'm like, well, uh, you don't, we don't know yet. So, Was it him? No. It was actually I thought he was going to – I don't know if he ever sent you the picture or if he ever got the picture of when well, we were on the channel last time. So, yeah, he, so he sent me some pictures. But I, I, had, um, I had seen a picture today, like an mm. updated version of it, and the facade looks pretty much almost done. I just got to paint it. Add a couple more details and it's done. But Scarecrow comes from, if it's true, uh, it comes actually from an original that Orlando did years ago that was like supposed to be like really good or something like that. So the thing that scares me about Hollywood <laughs> is to see what their take is on it, but it's an original, so you, there, there should be no black walls in there at all. No excuses. What color walls do we want there? White walls. There we go. You know why we want white walls? No. Um, was Do it because I of us? Know? Was it because of us? <laughs> yeah, right? it's because of us. Yeah, and us. Like, you, have you seen us? Yeah, I, 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 uh, the movie. Yeah. No, but you went through it. But I went through it. So in the scene at the end where you go in the underground and it's like bunnies everywhere. And, sure. Yeah, at the very end, um, it was all white walls. So we were very happy about that because in the, a lot of that movie there is a lot of white walls everywhere, and we were just tired of seeing black walls, so we just wanted a different color. <laughs> White was the next color because it was the opposite of black. So yeah, it just makes us laugh. But Scarecrow, I, I don't know too much about. But what do you think? What do you guys think of another more originals coming to HHN? It could be one of those things where it's either really good or they botched it really bad. Yeah. 
hundred percent. You've seen originals at HE10 as well, so yeah, it's it's actually I, I have inside sources. They told me it's Curse of Pandora's box to electric Scare- Bo- electric blue <laughs> electric blue <laughs> scarecrow edition. See what I gotta put up with sometimes. No, I'm, I'm excited. I think, I think they've done a great job with like reimagining the uh, Universal monsters and making those come to life with like kind of a more original idea. Mm-hmm. Curse of Pandora's box, obviously a great original, and a lot of people love that. So I definitely think that um, with the right with the, yeah Lyrona with the with the right budget, it's going to be an outstanding mace. Okay. Some would say stupendous. 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 Oh man, I don't want to talk about this next one, but we're gonna have to. The weekend, ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. the weekend. Have you heard about this? There's rumors right now that the weekend might have his own maze. The artist. Okay, I was like really confused for a second, and then you said the artist, and I was like, oh, well. Are you a weekend fan? No. Okay. I used to I like, like, I like when he came song. out back in the day. It was like one or two songs, but Blinding Lights is like the only thing I like from him. Yeah. What do you mean you don't want to feel your face when I'm with you? If you know, you know. For one, that sounded wrong, but two, I mean, his word, his actual like says, "I can't feel my face when I'm with you." Oh yeah, I heard that on TikTok. I've heard two songs he was on TikTok then, but I don't like that one. I like the other one. Yeah, I just want them to have an effect where like they blow air in your face and you're like, "Oh, I can't feel my face." <laughs> I can't. Someone can pick this guy up. I'll be here all week. Uh, can you leave tomorrow? <laughs> no, I leave Sunday. Oh, well. You're literally here all week, too. That's the funny part. Um, I don't know. I just... For me, that type of music... I mean, I understand why they're doing it in a marketing perspective. If you were to put a band like Iron Maiden compared to a band, like a person like The Weeknd... It sucks to say it because I'm an Iron Maiden fan, but the weekend's gonna gain more traction because of today's audience. Yeah, a lot of the people who go to Halloween Horror Nights are like teens to like people our age. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the majority audience. Now the diehard HHN fans would love an Iron Maiden maze. Shit, I already have so many ideas that I can make the maze myself if I wanted to. Yeah, tune in to uh, Maze Treatments season two. Whenever that comes TBA. back. TBA. TBA. That's good. That was good. Um, but I don't know. I, I I don't see. I mean, people have went on Twitter. The weekend is not horror, and then they showed video parts of his. But I was like, is that one scene of the damn video, or is this throughout the entire video? I, A lot of it is just scenes, I think. It's just scenes, right? I mean, I don't know. What, what do you? How do you? Why do you? Yeah, great question. I think Tony. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Um, you know, I really think it's a a media ploy. Um, definitely, if you get a large artist, multi-million, um, you know, fans probably active listeners on Spotify, and you let those fans know, like, hey, there's this maze, they're going to be more inclined to come. And if they come, they spend money on tickets, they spend money on merchandise, and maybe they'll go into something that's a little bit more uh, top escal- echelons of horror here, like uh, Scarecrow, hopefully, ho- hopefully, damn, I can't even speak English today. You can, but you're using a lot of big words, and my vocabulary doesn't go that high. <laughs> yeah, the, high, the highest theme of horror. Um, yeah. Maybe something like Scarecrow will be uh, entice them, or... Can you stop using fucking big words that I don't know what they mean? <laughs> entice is not even that big of a word. It means make them uh, curious. I don't do English. Dieterman. <laughs> um, yeah, so maybe that will make them more interested in the event, and uh, they will become aficionados of horror. He was trying to purposely look for a big word at the end. He I was really trying to, was. I, I know was, what that means, though. I was trying to think of a word that I could not think. I could not think of a word. Um, what do you think? Is this good? I don't know. Like, I got into going to horror nights like late in the game. I should say. What was your first year? Do you remember? 26. She said 2021. Oh, if you would have said 16, kidding. you would have started a great year. 17 was a pretty good year. That was the Shining. I think it was 17. Yeah. The Shining. And, you know, going there, it got me to, like, figure because sitting out and watching the street talent, especially on the upper lot, like, just sitting there and listening to that, I was like, oh, like, this is super cool. Like, obviously, I got on, like, Shazam or whatever it was and figured out who the artist was and started listening to him, you know, and I've been a fan ever since. And I'm so used to, like, that and, like, how Slash did last year with The Bride. Um, just, I think, going into something where it's more pop 
culture area. I think, yeah, it's going to attract the attention of, like, younger adults, but people who are horror fans are going to walk through it and just be like, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah. Because I, I think I've had this conversation with a couple of my, uh, my buddies who, you know, live on the East Coast and stuff that, yeah, for your typical H H your diehard HHN fan, are we going to go through it? Of course. We'll go through it once just to see what it's like. Maybe mm-hmm. it may shock. Because in rumor, you know, in 2020, 2020 Billie Eilish was supposed to have a maze at the event. Mm-hmm. And it was actually pretty much confirmed when, you know, Orlando started selling off all the set pieces. Yeah. So I, I part of me was like, good. But part of me was like, I kind of want to see what it would have been like. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I just, for me, when I started going to the event, the music mazes that I had were like Alice Cooper. Black Sabbath, you know what I mean? So I was like, okay, heavy metal, this fits horror, especially Alice Cooper. You know, he, he write, nice, writes songs, nothing about, you know, it's all about horror. He has that creepy factor behind him, too. Yeah, you know, and, and Black Sabbath, the same thing. They're the band that started heavy metal. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's nuts to, you know, but then you look at Billie Eilish on the weekend, and it's like, is it because they have a big following that you know that you can bring in a lot of money yeah. with them? Yeah. So, that, I mean, that kind of right there is, like, for me, if that's the truth, for me in my head, it's, like, so you're doing this more. I mean, understandable, you have to be profitable and whatnot, but it's, like, why wouldn't you bring stuff that you know horror fans would love? Because I think they're going to use, I think there's a couple other things in that lineup that uh, horror fans are really going to love. you gotta, you got to cater to all of your audience. It's true. You do. You're right. Um, there is something. So this one's interesting, though, because especially where the location is at. It's a return maze from 2019. Uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space is being speculated right now. Returning, but it's going to be in the Walking Dead location. Will there be more zombies than ever in this maze? More clowns than ever this time. Two factors? What I'm hoping is a live action. Three, that's true. Uh, Maybe four if you count me too. Um, Hopefully a life-size Clownzilla this time. For anyone who went in 2019 to Horror Nights at... Hollywood, the Clownzilla was just ahead. S- didn't really ruin it for me. It was still a fun time. Did you go through Killer Clowns from Outer Space? What'd you think? I hated every minute of it. You don't like clowns, huh? Oh, no. Have you ever seen the movie? Yeah. I'll watch the movie, but the fact that they were right in front of me, I, I practically ran through the maze. Well, I, I can promise you one thing. If you go through that maze with Tony, you will have a great time. You'll have a great time. Because I can promise you there will be a few quotes in there, and one of them will be, Another, another door. door! Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to buy a freaking fear pass if it comes, just to go to that maze. Yeah. I will go through that maze all night. I don't give, I don't give one fuck if... I'm like, if anyone's with me, have fun with the rest of the park. This is what I'm doing all night. <laughs> Just bounce between that and like one other, one other maze. Who's it? Whatever's going to be in the courtyard. Is there anything planned in the courtyard this year? Yeah. <laughs> then we'll get to that in a bit. Your favorite urban legend. Um, so yeah, Killer Clowns. Hunter will be scared. Sammy will just be there for a good time, not a long time. And You're all right. you guys will be laughing at me. And I'll, no, because I'll be too just in the moment with the maze. Yeah. POV coming soon. POV coming soon. Reacting, who knows? Um, soundstage twenty nine was Fanta home to Nueve for all those Spanish speakers out there. <laughs> <laughs> for uh, for those who don't know what house sounds what was housed in Soundstage twenty nine last year was The Exorcist. The year before that was Stranger Things season two, and the year prior to that was Stranger Stranger Things season one. You good? Yeah. Okay. You good? What happened? No, nothing. Huh? You're good. Okay. Uh, Jordan Peele's Nope. Yup. Yeah. Never seen it. What's that? You're right. What's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I haven't seen you're it either. Safe. Oh. You're safe. So you're safe today. Have you seen Us and Get Out? No. Oh, yeah, we oh. talked about Us. You haven't seen Us and Get Out. So you've seen no Jordan Peele movie? No. You kind of have an idea of how it is, though, going through Us, or were you confused as fuck when you went through that? Oh, I was confused. I had no idea. I was just it kind of is confusing like, you've never seen the movie. Why are there people everywhere, like, with the same mask on? <laughs> That's Sammy's favorite movie. It was. I really wish I could have went through that one more times. When the guys go through it twice, it was always a packed line. Bro. I know. It was just always packed. That yeah. and Pandora's box were always packed. Yeah. And Killer Clowns. Yeah. That's why we didn't go. We didn't go through Killer Clowns. As much. We went through one like three times. Yeah. Because that was packed in, in Stranger Things too. I thought Stranger Things would drive more of the crowd away. It didn't. Oh, it did. It got like a three-hour line, but that uh, still true. didn't. That still didn't save yeah. us. Well, Killer Clowns had like two hours. And, and, us had like two hours. I'm like, 
great. Well, not when we went. When, what, when did you guys go? Opening weekend? We went opening weekend, and we got the early access. So we got to hit everything before everything. Yeah. So we hit all the, the Stranger Things and everything. And then we hit the... Because that was a year where it had the Ghostbusters and all that kind of stuff with the Killer Clowns. So we hit all the bottom lot before anyone else got in. Why are you looking at me and laughing? Because I really had to hold myself from saying another thing about Ghostbusters. <laughs> Four female Ghostbusters. You guys see what I got to put up with? <laughs> oh, God. It's starting to get dark on camera, by the way. Oh, that's a great thing, because those lights are about to turn on in T minus one minute. At 6.55? Yes. <laughs> I had to change time. Anyway, uh, Nope should be interesting. I, I, I'm thinking it's about aliens, but who knows? But you're, what if it's not? You're going to have to see it. We're going to have to do, like, a movie day where we all go see it. Okay. Just, just so you know what you're getting into. I have a great time to go see it. <laughs> we'll FaceTime you. Yeah, we'll FaceTime you. No, we'll just watch it at mid after Midsummer one night. When does it come out? It comes out, like, the week before. Does it really? Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, wait. watch I it can, before. But I can wait, then. I can wait. Yeah, well, it comes out, like, the week after, I think. If it's, like, Saturday after, we can just go movies. For sure, dude. It's our after party. <laughs> For sure, dude. Uh... Sammy, Hunter, Lyarona's coming back. The curse of Lachona. What do you think about that coming back? I mean, it was here in 2011. It was here in 2012. Hey, hey I told you, bro. Okay, okay, what about that one? Um, my mom might have messed that one up. We'll fix that later. Can we just turn the knob? Yeah, you probably can. Right there. Oh, oh there it is. There it is. Perfect. It's well, just the light got way better all of a sudden. That's good. It was that one. That was the missing key. Um, is that is that the is that the Insidious new movie? The uh, missing key. The missing key. I, I thought it was the last key. Wasn't yeah, it? No, yeah, the no, the new one. Though, the new one. I don't know. Are they making another Insidious? I don't know. I doubt it. But <laughs> don't bring it up. <laughs> La Rona, the Mexican urban legend. Okay, yes, I understand that. <laughs> She's I gonna be like, what? I didn't see the mazes from back in the day. I mean, I've seen like YouTube videos, but I mean, that's nothing compared to going through it. Going through it. I mean, the movie terrified the shit out of me. So did it, Dan. It, I wasn't scared of the movie. It was the jump scares. So you were scared? No, but like, I wasn't like. When I watched The Conjuring 2, <laughs> I could not sleep. I don't do look, movies like that. Look down the hallway. Bro, we did not look down the hallway right now. <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I did go through it in 2011 and in 2012. Um, all I'm going to say is if it's going to be the same thing, I'm not excited for it. I'll still go through it, but it's like I've already seen it, like much how The Exorcist was. Yeah, you don't have a choice if you're going with me. Yeah, I, I mean, well, I mean, that was the same thing with season two for Stranger Things. I knew what I was going into when I had to go with you again. I was like, great, I have to walk through this again. Oh. And Sammy got out. He was like, I'm sorry I had to make you wait that. And I'm like... I wasn't uh, sorry about making you have to go through The Exorcist again, because I enjoyed that thoroughly. I did not. I didn't care for it one bit. If it was, did you get scared? I got scared. Okay, okay but why did we get scared? Cause it because was we couldn't see shit. Because of the black wall. And that bitch was going to pop out of nowhere, Pazuzu, and I was going to punch someone in the face probably. And I didn't want to have to do that. I literally could not see anything in that maze. What was darker, that maze or the one at Castle Dark? Oh, my God. Oh, well. Castle know. Dark wins. Castle but it was close. It was close. What were we talking about? Lyrona. Lyrona. I don't know. I just... I'll go through it. Yeah, I'm hoping it's something different, a new take on it, maybe. Did they update her? Has anybody updated her urban legend since it was started? <laughs> Did we give her, like, new abilities or... Yeah, bro. She... Lyrona unlocked the power <laughs> Lyrona of... version 2.1. Version 2.1? <laughs> There's a 2.0 and a 1.0? 0.5 is where I'm looking at, bro. What? We haven't even gotten to a full point. What do you think of Lyrona? Are you scared of Lyrona? I mean, the movie scared me more than anything, because, I mean, growing up, like, I heard more of, like, my mom's side of the story, and she's, like, the Polish side, and hear, like, the Hispanic side of my family, like, or anything, like, with that, but I grew up, like, because all my friends and stuff, like, knowing the urban legend, 
but I never really liked read into it or really anything until he told me about someone in his family or something like that and I was like oh okay and then we watched the movie and I was like this bitch is terrifying like <laughs> she's real bro I'll tell you what I got some great stories from some of my friends from the motherland you know what I mean bro <laughs> from the motherland the motherland I don't know if we want to say that right now that's fine I'm, I'm Mexican so is my family we're thinking of two different motherlands then. Tenetram, the return of Hollywood Harry. Hollywood what? Hollywood Harry, yeah, great, great questions. He was there in 2019, wasn't he? No, he was not. 2018. He was. So here's a little backstory on Hollywood Harry. Eli Roth in 2016. You know who Eli Roth is? Sure. Are you saying sure sarcastically or no? Sure. Have you seen Inglorious Bastards? No. Oh damn. But, come on, dude. That's a Tarantino film. I don't think she's. What Tarantino films have you seen? I don't know. This is she said once upon a time in Hollywood only. Never seen it. No, I'm just kidding. Reservoir Dogs. No. Pulp Fiction. No. Jackie Brown. No. Now you're getting even more niche <laughs> as you go down the list. Kill Bill. No. Kill Bill Volume Two. No. <laughs> Kill Bill Volume Three. <laughs> not yet. It's not. No. That's not happened yet. Um. Death Proof. No. No one's barely seen that one. Uh, you and Glorious Bastards. No. Django Unchained. No. The Hate Boy. Django. No. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. No. His tenth film. The hell is not his tenth film? No. It's not released yet. Oh. <laughs> she saw it early cut. <laughs> got it early cut. Even She's though like, it's yeah, not even filmed. Yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> um, anyway, Eli Roth, he's basically, he created a, a, a horror film that kind of became a cult classic called Hostel. Okay. Um, and he's also done, he's also a big influencer on the, the horror community. He, he, he's actually the creator of Crypt TV. Have you ever heard of Crypt TV? Mm -hmm. So he created that for, um, the community to make short films and produce short horror films mm -hmm. and give them a place. That's where like, you know, you see look, see the Mordeo, all these things came to life. So he's actually the creator of that. Um, he did a show on AMC called Eli Ross history of horror, which is really good. Maybe that's what you should watch to get caught up real quicker, a lot more quicker. Yeah, I know. Eli Ross, The History of Horror. Okay. <laughs> no, she's going to watch Master of Disguise on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Mint. Mint. Uh, anyway, so Eli Roth, being this whole horror guy, he teamed with the uh, Halloween Hornets one year and did a terror tram called uh, Eli Roth. shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Eli Roth presents uh, the terror. Eli Roth presents terror tram. Um, and the, the overall main character was a character they created called Hollywood Harry. Now, Hollywood Harry, uh, his backstory goes, he used to work at the park years ago uh, before clowns were the stuff of nightmares. After that happened with a bunch of horror films, he disappeared. Years later, like current time, 2016 at the time, he comes back. Sorry. Did you do what I think you just did? He just walked by and just goes, on theater right then. <laughs> um, so years later, he comes back, current time, 2016, he's spotted walking around the back lot and stuff. And people, like, they actually, what was cool about the marketing is they marketed it all through Crypt TV, and there was actual backlot footage, like, that people took from the tram that was actual, like, it wasn't, like, someone was planning on the tram, and, like, someone, people actually filmed it because they just put it on to, as a social experiment to see how many people would react to it. And it actually ended up on their video, and you saw him, like, walk the base motel and stuff. So he made, they made this whole terror tram with this original character. Then he came back in 2018, and he actually talked. And he brought, like, a whole band of carnies with him and stuff. So, like, each part of the terror tram was different areas. Now it's rumored that he's coming back in 2022. Yep. And it seems like he's becoming a new icon of Halloween Horror Nights out here in Hollywood because we don't have icons.